Hello, welcome to Crochet Rocks and to my Rocks Chat. How are you all? Good, I hope. Well, um, cheers. I have a um, a well-known brand of soft drink today, rather than tea. Yeah, um, might as well open it. It's very cold. Just got it out of the fridge. <clears throat> mega cold it is and I did remember to make a little list well I've been doing a lot of work actually on the on the website and uh, some on the channel and I made another little tutorial today I yeah, know another one <sighs> hair looks a bit weird doesn't it? let's take it out it's it's kind of semi wet um, I washed it and um, yeah so there we go um, yeah, so I did a, I keep getting asked, every time I do one of those videos, somebody asks for something that I haven't quite covered in it. So today I did a video showing all of the stitches using the stack and how to incorporate them. So I didn't do the granny because I've already done that. I didn't do the granny square because I've already done that. But um, I keep getting asked how it would apply to this, how it would apply to that. So, um, yeah, I did I did the video today showing it and even the linked stitch. So I did them all. Cheers, that's wet my whistle. <laughs> that wasn't good. As I said that, I actually whistled during the word whistle, which I thought was funny. <laughs> wet my whistle. Can't, you can't replicate that, can you? It's like your body... Or your mouth, rather. Not your whole body, just your mouth. Does that whistle thing, and then you try and recreate it to show what you... And it can't... It doesn't work. Maybe I'm the only one. I don't know. Okay. So, firstly, I sent Chris, my webman, a whole list of stuff that I wanted him to, to do. And he sent me um, a nice message saying, I'm working on these things slowly, and I'll let you know... So basically, the very light um, shipping has now been changed for, well, changed, it's been inc included for those people in the USA. I will do that for others as well. Well, he will, because that's one of his jobs. Um, and I have this thing called a product slider. And um, it's ridiculously difficult to work out. I mean, if I did it, quite often I would get to grips with it but it's really kind of a, a bit you know you have to create this you have to do that then you have to put it all in there and you have to do this so he's made it simple if I want to include things now I just have to put them in a category that picks it up and then I can take those ones out put new ones in so my product slider is going to change it had been um, on Stylecraft for quite some time now it's all of my new stuff and um some other bits besides because you know obviously we're spring and summer on the horizon for us on this side of the world um people start thinking about um summer yarns and cottons and that sort of thing so i put a few bits and bobs in there i know i said bits and bobs and yeah so there is somebody likes that i can't remember who it is now so yeah i can now operate the slider so i'm really happy about that so that's one thing um what's that say oh yeah i'm almost out of stock of starcraft cabaret and the eye cord knitters i've got like i think two eye cord knitters left they just as soon as i get them they just kind of like evaporate but as luck would have it the place where I get them from sent me an email earlier saying that they're having an Easter promotion. I went, well, that's handy because I need to put in an order, not just for that, but for the tulip sets and other things. So what a great timing that is. Um, I've done loads of tutorials this week. I've got a label attacking me. Do apologise. So, yeah, I did. Um, I've done the blanket. I did one that popped up about the granny stitch rather than the granny square a straight granny i like to call it i'm working on this this is going to be a new <laughs> i like that 
It's going to be in the... Oh, it doesn't, doesn't show up now. A new tutorial. <laughs> Sorry. Tiny things amuse tiny minds. I know. But, um, yeah, so I'm working on that. It's going to be a new tutorial. And um, I did a scrunchie. And I did the stitchy one. Um, I feel like there's another one. I've forgotten all about it. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Um, see my little list. It's like, uh, hey, what did I write? Didn't write it big enough, obviously. Um, oh, this is so cute. Now, our granddaughter, Sophia, that's Gary's daughter's daughter, okay, she um, had a piece of homework to do for school. And she had to do, who has, who inspires you? Who's inspired you? And she did me. Can you believe that? Me inspired something, yeah. Um, she said that um, Nanny Tracy is the one that inspires her because I can make things. I can... I have a, a crochet business and I can make things like snoods and blankets and makeup patterns. And um, yeah, it was really sweet that she, um, and of course, you know, she has worn some of my <laughs> creations to school, like snoods and scarves and things like that. So yeah, that, that wasn't that cute. It was so, so sweet. I, I was kind of, you know, kind of a little bit choked about that. That was quite sweet. Um, oh yeah, so that is a spring summer thing that I'm doing, so that'll be popping up soon. And in other news that's not on the pad that I've finished with all that, um, I weighed myself again today, and even though, um, we have been, um, this feels like it keeps slopping down. I do apologise. Keep address, keep dressing myself. Um, not addressing myself. That's like you. Hello, you. That's not what I meant. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, weighed myself this morning, and nothing. Absolutely nothing. I know it's not a game, but um, stayed the same yet again. So I'm getting really, 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 really fed up with it. Almost said to Gary today, that's it, not doing it. Well, can you hear him cooking? He's a bit loud when he cooks. So, um, yeah, uh, almost said that's it, done with it. Let's just um, do what we want, really, till Easter and then get on to a different diet afterwards. And then as we were driving along, he kind of talked me out of it. So, <laughs> again, here I am sticking with it. Um, <clears throat> but we are going to have a little Easter break and then decide which way we go but I'm not going to sit and or sit I'm not going to suffer and do all this for nothing you know um the whole reason for me doing low carb was that traditionally for me it's a rapid waste lo weight loss diet well it certainly isn't that anymore and uh, if I lose weight faster on slim oil it's got to be bad so um I mean, there's no no telling that that will actually work for me. I don't know. I'll have to see. But one thing's for sure. I'm not putting myself through all this deprivation to, um, you know. I mean, I know you eat well on it. I know. But, you know, you're still depriving yourself of um, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, namely, the hardest thing for us to do without is potato. Yeah. Um, but... <clears throat> I'm not going to be doing that if it's not going to work. And I, I mean, I've given it lots of opportunity. It's not like I'm cheating or doing anything wrong. So, getting fit on that. Okay, let's see. What's the, you know you're old when today? I always forget where I'm up to. You know you're old when. Um, you look. Okay. Yeah, the top of the ladder was yesterday, wasn't it? I didn't get that one. You look you know you're old when you look forward to a dull evening. <laughs> well, I don't think that's anything to do with not being old. I can remember when I was so busy, which is, you know, I'm busy now, but when I worked and I had younger kids and I was like mum's taxi. Because Dad's taxi didn't really exist. 
um, so what, they had better social life than I did. You know, they were off out here, there and everywhere. And even if they wanted to play football, it's sort of take them somewhere for their goals. So, um, you know, and you're picking one up from, especially when they're very small, and you're picking one up from nursery midday, then you're going to get the other one from school. By the time you got home, it's more like have a cup of tea, go back out again, that sort of thing. So I can remember a time when I was so busy and run by the clock my whole life seemed to run by the clock and uh, I would have looked forward to a dull evening then you know and that's nothing to do with being old it's just to, to do with being extremely busy so now I am busy but um well no not a dull evening although there's always something to brighten it isn't there there's and at the moment if I'm watching something with Gary, that's something kind of exciting. And if I'm watching something on my own, it's something I can get on with some crochet while I do it. And then you're off out here and there meeting up with family. And so, no, there's, there's not really anything dull. I've got a bruise. I've got a bruise. I don't know if you can see it. It's only small. But I looked at it and I thought, is that dirt? And then I realised, where did that come from? That should be, you know, you're old when bru bruises pop up that you didn't even know. How you got? That's the one, isn't it? It's like, how on earth did that appear? And cuts. Like, there's a little... I don't know if you can see it. There. It's like a little blood spot. I get them all the time. <laughs> all the time. You know, it just looks like a red freckle in amongst all the brown ones. But I get them and I have no idea how I got them. So, yeah, that's, that's another one, isn't it? You know your old when. When your body falls apart and you have no idea why. Okay, what we got today? So this is for Tuesday and I can't make out the picture. Maybe when the light shines on it, it look a little bit more. I suppose it that looks like the Mandalorian with a lightsaber, but what the rest is? Is anybody's guess? It's quite a dark picture. <laughs> Any darker, there'd be nothing there. Seriously? Yeah, so I decided right earlier on, I was sitting there thinking, I wonder if I could write that pattern down as I go, rather than because I've got a massive task of trying to put any of mine in patterns because there's so many now. But I wonder if I could do that, you know, just get that done as a pattern as I do it rather than jot it down in scribble which I normally do scribble that I understand why don't I try and make it a proper a proper pattern or something didn't get very far in fact I didn't do it <laughs> it's good. Well, it was something I was thinking of doing but I haven't got around to doing it yet just bear with me a sec I think there's someone at oh, it was just a parcel for next door not for me. Um, I have ordered those uh, Lion Brown Mandalas. And uh, I got a nice message from her today about all the other yarns that I said I wanted to get. And she um, said that she would try and get them in, but they're going to place an order for some gradually. So um, I said, oh, that's cool. But um, can you tell me if my order's been dispatched? Because I got one saying, you know, thanks for your order. We've received it. But um, nothing else. So uh, I'd like to know if it's, you know, they didn't say, you you know, you need to pay for it. Some people send it and let you pay for it after. Other people make you pay for it before they send it. And then some make you pay for it before they send it until they know you. And then they like send it and then make you pay for it. Which is the old business way of doing it. But I prefer to pay for it before I get it rather than... You know, then suddenly go, oh my goodness, yeah, I forgot I've got to pay for that. Rather do it that way. It was all right all the time. See, um, all the Starcraft stuff used to be like that. Um, but they gave you a discount if you paid early. Now they're taking only if you do it by Bax transfer. So it's still the same thing, but cheers, guys. Mm. I was a bit hungry when I went to bed last night. So, uh, well, before I went to bed. And so I had a little charcuterie board of uh, ham, olives, cheese, and a few little baby tomatoes cut up. Don't have many because they're not, they're not really good on low carb. 
a few cat you can have a few but not many so i had that and then i was wide awake <laughs> really really wide awake so um you know i went in a bit of a live stream i went in one's live stream and um then i thought you know look at the time i really do need to go to bed now and i was wide awake absolutely wide awake i'd been crocheting as well which had got me on a roll you know and uh so in the end i think i must have got off to sleep about 3 a.m but i had a nice little lay in this morning but you know it, i've i hate that you know when you get a little bit hyped up and then you can't sleep and it's it's not really hyped up because you've not been doing anything crazy just um i don't know sitting in front of a computer screen i suppose well even if you're sitting in front of the tv screen it's still a screen isn't it but yeah i hate it when i get into those very late things it used to be my way of life i can remember you know when i first started on these youtube streets i used to be in all the all the very late night and early morning lives um getting to bed about three i would get up at 10 though you know so it didn't really make a difference i didn't do a vlog at all then I didn't do one in the beginning. I only did it because somebody asked me to, or they asked me if I, a few people said, have you ever done a vlog a day? And it was coming up for April and it was during lockdown. I thought, you know, well, we, we're all captive, aren't we? We can't really do much. So I just started it then and that was it then. So, um, but in the beginning, God created, no, no, I don't mean that. In the beginning when I did my, when Tracy created, the YouTube channel, um, there was no such thing. So um, I forgot why I was saying this now. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Seriously. It sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> you know your old one. Halfway through a sentence, you forget what you brought it up for. <laughs> oh, I'd like to say that's something to do with being old, but I've been doing it for years, sadly. Have I been old for years? Maybe. So this hair is really fluffy. I really do need to um, straighten it or tie it up. But it's uh, it does need a bit of a straighten. My hair's got this really weird vibe at the moment. When I was young, it was very curly and wavy. You know how the beach curls are that people strive to get? Mine was like that. I hated it at the time. But that's how my hair was. It was just very curly. Now, I'll show you. It looks like I've had a plait in it. It has this crinkle um, that looks like my hair's been plaited, but it hasn't. And um, that's how it's gone now, like a like a fluffy plait. I don't know if I like it or not. It's very thick, needs a bit of a trim and a thin out, I think, because it's very, very thick. It's all right when I straighten it. It's nice thick, but before I straighten it, because the strands are like, you're not my friend. I'm not standing there near you. And they kind of expand a little. But it's weird how I get this kind of crinkle, like um, like I've had it in a plait. I would have it in a plait, but I'm useless at them. You know, I'm useless at doing anything like that to my own hair. I really am. Um, I, bl I blame the fact that when I was 17 and 18 years old, around about that time, because my mother would never let me have my hair cut, she would never let me have my hair perm, she would never let me do anything with it. Because to her, my hair was her crowning glory and I wasn't allowed. And all of the hairdressers within my, well, on this island were forbidden to touch it. She had made sure that if she ever comes in and she wants a haircut, the answer is no, you get it? So, um, yeah, I wasn't allowed to ever have it done. So... As soon as I was off out of her hands, what was the first thing I did? Chopped it all off. And from that moment on, it's never been the same. Never, never been like that. Never been this curly. It's always just been a bit, uh, yeah, never mind. I think that we all do that though, don't we? We all rebel a little bit and think, right, you wouldn't let me have it cut. It's coming off. One day when she was out, I cut myself a fringe. Bangs to you guys over the, across the pond. When she'd come home, it was all kind of like that. 
And she was, what have you done? And I went, well, I asked you for a fringe. So now I had to have one. But I could, I've got a school photo of me when it was down to here because she was making me grow it out. She said, it's not going to stay there. That's how she spoke, you know. <laughs> she had this witchy poo voice. Seriously. Every now and then she would go, oh, try it. And I'd go, Mum, you're doing it again. You know, what? what's with the witchy poo voice? Let's just speak normally, please. Because she did normally speak normally. But she had this witchy poo when she wanted to, ex you know, what's the word? Um, Emphasise. She would get all witchy. And for goodness sake, mother, <laughs> stop it. But yeah, isn't it funny though, don't you? People's voices and dialects and the way they talk are so different. It's like so many Americans, women, when they talk, they croak. You know, <laughs> have you noticed that they do? They got a croaky voice when they talk. And it, why is that? It's probably the part of the throat that they speak from. But and and, and French people, they've got a sort of you talking. You know, it's all kind of in a certain part of the mouth, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, Italians. It's the sort of, you know, the way they talk. Isn't it funny, though, that we don't all just use the voice that comes out like this? But we don't, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, though, American men don't croak. They don't croak. It's just, just the girls... The girls, see this, <laughs> the girls, the girls. I'm going to have to get rid of this. It is doing my head in. But yeah, I always think linguistics is really, really um, interesting. Well, to a certain point. <laughs> but you know what I mean? The origin of words and, oh, now I look bald. And this bit's too wide. Oh, not, I'm not very happy with myself today. Hello. That's better. I can't see it now. So, um, what else have I got to tell you? Let me think. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of toying with the idea of coming off this diet and going on to maybe either Slimming World or Weight Watchers or something along those lines. Michael just says to me, Mum, just eat a calorie deficit. You don't have to do all that. Calorie deficit, it works. I oh, know it's true, but you know, it's I can't. He does, you know, used to anyway. Think of all of the food, how many calories are in that, and oh, I can't do that. I can't do that weigh in business and all that kind of stuff. Mm, it's not really me, probably why I'm not, <laughs> probably why I'm not slim, <laughs> quite sadly. Yeah. So we went out earlier, went and got some DIY, well, you know, where did we go and get DIY stuff or the tip? One of the two, he knows how to show a girl a good time, does Gary. So we went to the DIY store and uh, I thought, now while we're out here, is there anywhere I can go? Anywhere that might amuse me for a little while, get me some maybe yarn or something that I fancy. And just, I just thought, there's nothing, there's nowhere, there's just none. Mm nada so that's all we did we went and got some um plastic edging strips and some wood <laughs> that was it oh did we go in the supermarket we were going to but then you know gary talked me out of having potato so i didn't give in the diet a few more days grace to work i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna weigh myself make sure i follow it properly and, you know, if it doesn't, if I don't lose at least a pound or two by the end of the week, it's curtains for it. Anyway, um, I'm going to get off and upload this video. And also, I've got to do the titivation on the, on the computer for the other tutorial. So um, I can get that done while Gary is cooking up a storm out there. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And uh, oh, I want to say a big hello and a thank you to my new member and um, all my new subscribers. If you're watching, thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Toodle pip, guys.